I want to discuss the Sale to Hospital Group and in particular Mayo University Hospital. The Mayo University Hospital is in a deep crisis at the moment, both in terms of the 15,000 people who are waiting for treatment there uh, and also in terms of access to A&E. People are waiting hours and hours without treatment. It is not good enough in this day and age and it's not good enough to say, well, we spend X amount of money. We need accountability within the system, but also we need the resources to be targeted. We've built enormous primary care centres, even in parts of Mayo, and yet we cannot have access to a GP and we cannot have access to proper health care. Minister, there's something gone badly wrong. We need the capital investment in Mayo University Hospital. There's no point in telling us we're going to get a 20, uh, 2024, 2025. In Belmullet Hospital, again, we haven't got the capital investment there and that's obviously having a knock-on effect uh, on the step-down services for Mayo University Hospital. Thank you, Minister. Minister, the people in Mayo uh, deserve better and they need better at this point. Um, when you talk about staff and caring for staff, absolutely I want to acknowledge the Trojan work that staff do. But why don't we do ex exit interviews with all the nurses that are leaving? Why don't we offer contracts that are flexible to meet the family needs of, of nurses um, as well? Why are we going around the world um, recruiting nurses when only 4% of nurses of who do pre-nursing PLC courses then go on to be nurses. The pathways aren't there for our own people. Um, the health service capacity review in 2018